Welcome to Small Bike Stuff. Here we have a Lifan 125 IP54 FMI, I think they are. And uh, I'm just gonna unbox it and show you the, everything that comes with it. So I uh, will be entirely honest with you. These will get, uh, this will get entirely thrown in the bin. Not the, well not in the bin, but I'm not gonna use this carburetor. Um, other things it comes with, we have a nice little manifold. These are great. I use plenty of these and happy as with them. Use, use a carb spinner with them if you need to get your carb a different angle. Um, but they tend to do the job pretty well. Got a standard kickstart. So you've got your kickstart. This is a 125 semi automatic uh, kickstart only. So it's not an electric start. So you've got your kickstart there. Fairly sweet. I've used plenty of these. Um, depending on what bike you're using, the straight shaft can be a little bit annoying, but that's fine. Once I've shown you something, I'll put it to the side. We've got the shifter, and this is actually awesome. It's got the nice shifter. Sometimes they come with an average shifter that doesn't have this uh, retractable foot pad, I guess you call it. And um, yeah, I really like really like the shifter. It, um, it's one of my favorite ones, and I often keep these aside if I have extra of them to put on different bikes, because yeah, they tend to be really useful. Here, we just have a, well, I might as well open it, because we're doing a full unboxing. There we go, gasket uh, there. So you've got your fiber gasket or kind of paper cardboard gasket. Uh, you've got your plastic heat sink with a rubber O-ring and you put this in between the carburetor and the uh, manifold because that will just soak up a lot of the heat that goes through into the carburetor. Um, and yeah, that just makes things a lot better. In here you've got a few uh, bolts as well. Two short, one uh, too long and they will be for mounting the carburetor into the motor and then mounting the uh, sorry, mounting the manifold onto the motor and the carburetor onto here. So, onto here. <laughs> anyway, next, we have some electrics. So, I don't know what this would be useful for. Wiring is not my forte, but, you know, this comes with it. And also, which is my forte, uh, it's not my forte at all. But uh, we've got the CDI. So, this is a five pin. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Line it up with the camera. All right, just had to get the uh, polystyrene dust out of there. And then, yeah, this plugs straight into your CDI. So you can generally kind of do a real basic wiring loom with this. Also, we have the coil as well. So here's a 12 volt coil. Um, it's got a plug cap on there. Um, this is just standard, whatever. You could get uh, NGK, LV05F, or whatever the part number that superseded that is, to replace this if you find these not to be great. But um, the waterproofing on these caps is generally fine. But yeah, and the coils are fine. I've used plenty of them. All right, so now we take out the polystyrene and I'll put that back in in a second so we can actually look at this, which is the motor. I'm gonna move that to the side for a second because I'll show you what else is inside the box. This is the last thing. This is the carburetor. So this is branded as a Ozio, Ozio carburetor. It's the same brand as it was on the box, which is nice. So it actually, you know, did become to be a part or did come as a part of that. Uh, you've got your slide in there, not huge, um, your intake and then with the choke on the end and that kind of terrible, um, yeah, really crappy fuel hose that kinks quite easily if you're not careful. Um, these are okay if you're in a pinch and you need something, but yeah, I'm gonna throw a nibby on this engine because um, I haven't used a nibby before and I'm hearing a lot of good reviews about them. Now, ooh, excuse me, I just had to move this around so I could have a nice platform to put the engine on. Here we are, this is a 125 semi-auto Lifan 125. Uh, really, really excited about this. What does it come with? Well, there's a few different hoses and stuff attached. Um, we'll go through that. There's the wiring loom that comes out. First things first, we get this. This is a Lifan Technology Motorcycle Center uh, qualification certificate. So my IP54 FM, uh, I, there's the engine number, and this was made uh, in January 2024. There we go, sorry I was holding it out of screen, January 2024. And uh, yeah, cool little thing, I guess. You've got a plastic, uh, sorry, a foil uh, sticker, I guess, over top of the intake, obviously, to stop things from getting in there. And then the other thing here that I talked about before was this little hose. This is for this rubber cap, which you need to pull off. And this rubber cap, if I can get it, is the oil breather. So uh, basically the crankcase breather, I guess you could say. It um, blows excess oil out here. It literally goes straight into this tube. So if you're running wide open for long distances, you may notice a little bit of oil drip out of that hose. Some people remove or notch this or get rid of it to make it fit in certain classic Honda frames. But 
yeah, that's what that's for. What you'll see on the top is we've also got a gear indicator here. So we've got one, uh, zero, one, two, three, four. So it's a four speed. Uh, looks like zero is gonna be at the bottom. Um, neutral is gonna be at the bottom and it'll be all up, um, which will be pretty fun. We've got rubber kind of more heat sinks, I guess. I don't know if there is a heat sink. If you've got a better explanation of why the rubber's there on the fins or if it's just there for shipping, let me know. Side cover says life in on this side. On the other side, it does also say life in. These engines are about 20 kilograms, or boxed, they're about 20, 20 kilograms, a little bit more, so you've got to be careful um, handling them. Obviously, you don't want to drop them. You've got your oil dipstick here. Now, this is a supposedly a dry engine, which, yeah, it looks about right. It's got a little bit of residue on there, but there doesn't seem to be any oil. And that's it. These were essentially copied from the Honda Dream 100 engine, or the Honda EX5 engine. And uh, yeah, they just got turned into bigger capacity. These were made, Lifehand made Hondas under license, I think at one point as well. This spark plug in there, some random brand, um, rip that out and replace it with the NGK if you can. But um, generally this is what you get. On the bottom, you've got your exhaust uh, exit there. And yeah, it's really got studs, which is nice. The flat bolt on the bottom, or the flat bolt there is the oil drain. And then you've also got your cam chain spring, cam chain um, tensioner spring under there. Don't take that out if you don't have to, it'll just go boom and you'll be a bit sad. And then you've got, uh, yeah, your four foot peg mounts as well. So this is a Lifehand 125. I just wanted to go through it. That's what comes in the box. We've got the engine, we'll go through it again. We've got the CDI and a little wiring loom. We've got that awesome shifter with the retractable spring loaded foot pad. We've got a intake manifold here, which is just cast and you know, they're all right, they do the job. I've never seen one break in my usage. We have a coil, 12 volt coil here, uh, with the spark plug on the end, of course, as you would expect. We have a nice little kickstart here. It is straight though, straight shaft, may not suit some bikes, you may need to get something else that suits. We have the carburetor here. This is this brand here, so Ozo. O-Z-Z-H-O, I believe, and it's Technoji from Japan, and yeah, it's just got some information on the back there. This probably would run okay, but then if you want to get parts for it, you know, all of these knockoff carbs are slightly different inside, and it can just be a bit annoying, so there's two screws holding the float bowl down, as you can see there, and it's just kind of not enough for me. Um, yeah, well, actually, uh, I've never seen a Nibby up close, so I've just heard they're good, so we'll see what that actually ends up being like, but yeah, you get the carburetor as well. So... That's generally it. I haven't mentioned the gaskets and the heat sink and the little screws, but uh, the little bolts for the manifold, but that's it. Yeah, we'll end it here. This is a Life M125. Thanks to M-Bike in New Zealand, uh, down in South Island, they have provided this engine um, and I'll be putting it into a new project. So I just wanted to make a quick video. Unboxing a Life M, haven't done it for a while. For a while. And this is, yeah, a semi-auto, no clutch, um, as you can see here. Four speed, one, two, five, non-electric start. Thanks for watching. See you next time.